When consideration is needed for flow inside a pipe or cavity, Creo Simulation Live can solve this as an internal flow study. The first step is to accurately represent the fluid domain. You can create a fluid domain or in this case, select this solid component that is a part in this assembly. This model has already been assigned a material at the part level and it carries this assignment into the fluid simulation study. We are going to right click on the fluid domain and select remove internal geometry. This will subtract any component geometry that interferes with the fluid domain. Common boundary conditions are flow velocities or mass flows, which can be defined by directional values or using a plane or edge to define the direction. We are also going to select these 10 surfaces in the back to represent areas where air can escape our electronics enclosure. Then we click simulate and get instant results. A designer can use the results to make design choices based on velocity and pressure results or to identify areas where flow is going to be problematic. You are able to define and modify cut planes to see the flow easier. Also, you can use different display methods to see the flow more clearly. You can look only at a slice of the flow and then move it dynamically. Other options include streamlines, particles, and direction field. A popular display to show you here is looking at velocities with a target and bandwidth within the composite display to understand the velocities within the enclosure. At this point, a designer can then make design choice changes to ensure that airflow is consistent through the enclosure.